In this video, I want to share with you a really interesting degree that you can do in computer science completely remotely from your home from one of the most reputed colleges of the country. Make sure that you watch till the end because I will be talking about the exact duration of this degree, what exactly will you learn in this, the advantage that this degree offers that others might not be able to offer you and much more. All of this in this video. Hit the like button and subscribe and let's get started with this topic. We will be talking talking about the Bachelors of Science in Computer Science degree delivered online from Bits Pilani. Now this is one of the most accessible bachelor's degree that you can get from Bits Pilani since you do not need to qualify in Bitsat to be able to get access to this degree. If you are from commerce or arts, you can still take part in this degree and learn computer science. Let's try to break this down. It's an online degree that you can do. You don't need to go to the campus necessarily and attend the lectures by sitting over there. I think this is the biggest advantage that you will get. You might have heard about a ton of online degrees, but this one is coming from a college like Bits, a college that I have first-hand experience of and I think the best benefit that BITS provides is the alumni network and the culture around you. I remember when I was in first year of college, I was surrounded by people who were interested in building something of their own, be it Harish building Blue Learn, Mehol building Codam, Mohit building Strategy, or Shorya building Flam. I was surrounded by people who wanted to build something of their own. Graduates from Bits Pilani have founded over 900 different startups, out of which 13 are Unicorn. Now these include MPL, Swiggy, Big Basket, Zeta, Grow, and many more. These companies have raised over $16 billion of funding from over 1,500 investors. So this is the advantage that you get when you get a degree from a highly reputed and aspired brand like Bits. So that was the advantage of Bits. Now let's talk about the degree itself. So this is an online degree with a duration of three years, which can be expanded to six years as well. Talking about the eligibility, if you are a class 12 student, you can apply for this degree. You can access all the course material like lectures and assignments directly from Coursera. Talking about the application deadline, 15th November 2022 is the last date for you to apply for the November cohort and the classes will be starting from the 30th of November itself. Talking about the total three year tuition fee for this degree, it is coming at just 3.1 lakh rupees, which comes out to be approximately 1 lakh every single year. I think this is quite affordable when you compare it with the other options that you might be having in private institutions of India. Now let's have a look at the curriculum of this online BSc degree in computer science. So as you can see, divided in the six semesters that you will be attending in this degree. First semester is going to be about introduction to programming. You learn about discrete mathematics. You learn about linear algebra and optimization, introduction to computing systems, basic electronics, and you will have some writing practice as well, coming at 18 units for the first semester. Going down, you'll be learning about basic DSA, object-oriented programming, command line interfacing. You'll learn about probability and statistics. You will also learn about logic in this course this second semester is going to be about 19 units in total now using this object-oriented programming course you will learn about objects and classes and how can you use them in your programs personally when I learned about oops concept back in 2019 it was a game changer for me I could write even more efficient code and I could just learn programming in a better and fun manner then you get to the third semester, wherein you'll be learning about algorithmic design. You learn about relational databases, you learn about web programming, you learn about software design principles, you'll also learn about computer systems and performances. Now through this relational databases course, you can learn about how two tables and databases connect with each other and how can you retrieve information when you put out a query to you know get some data. Fourth semester you'll get to learn about operating systems, building database applications, programming mobile devices, environmental studies, formal languages and applications getting to a minimum of 18 units. Again, this is where you can take electives, which I will be talking about in a moment right now. Now, this operating system course, I think is one of the most important theoretical concepts that you can learn and prepare for if you want to excel at your, uh, you know, FANG interviews, at your coding rounds. These rounds start with a MCQ round, right? Those are many theoretical questions. And if you have gone through operating systems course, 
thoroughly then you can be much more well equipped to answer the questions then you get to the fifth semester now here you will be learning about software development practices network programming and client server programming and you will be allowed to take any of these disciplinary electives i will show you what these are and at the end you also have a study project to do this is going to come at about 17 to 19 units depending on how many electives do you end up taking then you get to the last semester here is where you learn about foundation option 3 which you can choose from the options that are available in this degree i'll show you those as well and you can take any of the disciplinary electives as well and at the end you will have a final project to do at the end of this degree so that is what this curriculum looks like now let's take a look at the electives that you can take over here so as you can see these are all the electives you can take anything from these you have graphs and networks automata you learn about human computer interface which is what uh, elon is building with neuralink you'll also learn about designing multimodal interfaces you learn about modern databases so you can take any of these electives as you can see right here if they fit in with the units that you can take in that particular semester so if you'll have a look at this the degree is divided into four basic points first of all is mathematics foundation then you'll learn about science and engineering foundation which talks about biology physics or basic electronics then you can have humanities foundation and then you have other courses as well like environmental studies introduction to economics or science technology and modernity so this is how your whole degree is divided and structured you can also have a full description of each of these courses that are available to you i will link this curriculum in the description now let's have a look at what paths that you can take in this degree so this is the main page of this degree on coursera essentially we can go on to the academics point and we can have a look at what are these tracks that you can take so as you can see you first of all have these four options that you can take you will have the opportunity to specialize in one of these four tracks allowing you to build a deeper domain expertise so you can either go in any of these right so it could be either application development computer systems and systems programming it could also be databases and data analytics or it could be algorithmics and theoretical computer science i think the flexibility that they are providing to you is amazing like you can choose any of these according to your liking you can also look at the core courses that you need to take for this and the elective courses as well now let's talk about the assessment how will they assess you how will you be able to test what have you retained and what have you learned from this whole experience so you can take online graded quizzes that will be conducted every 2 weeks of the course that you have enrolled into so that is number 1 there will be uh, continuous assignments case studies and lab exercises that will be there for the whole duration of these courses and you will also have a comprehensive final examination that will happen at the end of each course this exam will be happening in a online proctored environment they will also be conducting practice quizzes or other evaluations to help you self assess your progress and how much of the knowledge have you retained one more thing that you have is the optional fourth year track that you can get access to over here i will let you explore this with the link in the description if you are interested you also have a flexible exit option if you want that now adding on to the flexibility you also have an opportunity to do a dual degree that would open up horizons and create more opportunities for you in your career now this degree can be done alongside an on campus program as well so imagine the possibilities career wise if you are able to do an online bachelor's of science in computer science degree as well as a bachelor's in business administration on campus now if anyone feels lost at any stage they have high degrees of flexibility you can pause the degree at any time that you want and finish it in up to 6 years of time you can also take an exit at the end of year 2 with a diploma in software development so essentially you get rewarded for the effort that you've put in as you get the credential even if you opt out before Three years. You will be able to access all of these assignments, assessments, hands-on learning, as well as the course material from Coursera itself, which you can download on your mobile or you can use it on the web on your laptop. As we all know, computer science jobs are growing by the day. There is more opportunities than ever before in fields like machine learning or artificial intelligence or even data. And this degree in particular will qualify you for roles such as software engineer. data analyst full stack developer now this program is open to applicants 
friends across the globe so you will get a chance to learn from people from the US, UK, Australia, Amsterdam and it is hosted on Coursera, an international platform for degrees and certifications. Now let's see the exact steps you need to take to apply for this BSc degree in CS from Bits Pilani on Coursera. Just click on apply now once you have logged in in Coursera. So I'll just click on apply now right here. I just need to click on start a new application over here and I can now click on create application. As you can see the application has been started. I can now open my application and I can start applying for the same. So I can click on continue. You should read all these instructions and once you are done with that then we can click on continue over here as well. We can click on continue for the November 2022 cohort and we can now enter all of our personal background information. So that could be your name, your family, your current address, your mailing address, your email address, your phone, biographic information. And this is what you need to enter. You can click on continue. Then you can enter information about your family background, your academic history, your education details, your signature. And at the end, you can review and you can submit this application. Again, this program has limited seats. So make sure that you submit as soon as possible. Once you apply, you just need to wait for some time. And if you are accepted, you will receive an email from the Bits Pilani admissions office with the offer letter and the instructions on the next step. Now, once you graduate from this bachelor's in science degree, this is what your certificate would look like, which is issued from Bits Pilani. Check the link in the description for applying for this as well as the curriculum. If you have any questions about anything in this video that I have mentioned, let me know about that in the comment section as well. Thank you so much. I will catch you all in the next video. Share this video with your friends. Hit the like button and subscribe and keep learning, keep growing. And I'll see you all in the next video.